want to define the tangent line problem. Notice here we start with a function f, which is increasing thusly. The coordinates of this first point, x value we'll call x, and y value we'll call f of x for this point. The second point, q, has moved over in horizontally, and delta x stands for the change in x, how much it's going over. So we want to find the co coordinates of the new point, q. So our new x coordinate would be x plus the delta x that we moved over. And the y value we would indicate with f of x plus delta x. Now, we want to find the slope of the line connecting these two points. And this line is called the secant line. So to find the slope, we take the change in y. So this is the second y minus the first y divided by the second x minus the first x. If you look at the denominator, you will notice that they each have an x and a minus x. So this can be simplified to f of x plus delta x minus f of x, all divided by delta x. And this is going to be the slope of our secant line. This is very important and will be used again many, many times in finding the derivative. Let's take a specific example. Suppose we take the function f of x equals the square root of x. We're trying to find the slope of the line at the point 4, 2. Notice from the origin we come over 4 and up 2. And we're going to approximate this by selecting a point, let's take this point right here, which has coordinates 1, 1. So to find the slope of the secant line, if we connect this, these two points, we have the, the, y, the second y coordinate minus the first y coordinate divided by the second x coordinate minus the first x coordinate gives us 1 divided by 3. So this line has a slope of 1 third and this process will be continued as we select other points closer and closer.